Hey gang, welcome back to another great episode of Power Boating in Paradise TV. Stu Jones here in Key Largo, Florida, right in the midst of a first ever history making air, land, and sea poker run. That's right, air. We have two aircraft, actually, three aircraft flying today a helicopter, two fixed wings. They're up in the air right now, landing in Marathon. Land, that's right. Uh, I'm going to be driving an Audi R8 from offleaseonly.com. We have got Bentleys. We've got a Porsche just pulled in. We've got BMW. Uh, a collection of cars rolling down Highway US-1 while, of course, then the boats, the sea portion of the run, heading from Key Largo down on the backside as we stop at our next checkpoint at Postcard Inn in Isla Morada. So it's an exciting format here for this episode of Power Boating in Paradise TV. Let's go. So let's just backtrack a couple of hours where we got things started at the Pompano Air Park for the air portion of this weekend's poker run. And we're flying with Florida Coast to Coast helicopters in a brand new Robinson R44. I'd like to welcome Elliot, our pilot, uh, Jim Wenger shooting stills and David Steele on the video camera today. You might notice already that the conditions are not that great. It's very overcast. We've had a lot of rain already this morning and we actually had to delay the start until we got some uh, clear weather to bust a move. Uh, and kind of a fragmented start as we leave here from Miami. We've got quite a mixture of boats on the run. That cruiser is a sun seeker. He's registered for the run. The catamaran you just saw is also registered. So it's a slow start as we head off here out of Miami. And we'll be rendezvousing with a few more boats down at the Rickenbacker Causeway. And there they are, a big Outer Limits on the left. That's Lane Christensen from Texas in his Outer Limits 52 SV. On the right side, Don Lightfoot in his brand new 52-foot Nortec Cat. And guess what? I got to ride with him today. I'm excited about my ride in this huge Cat that's powered by big Mercury Racing 1350s. Here's another B-Bottom joining us. This is a 47 Fountain, Warren Foreman all the way from Texas. Team X-rated with big Mercury Racing 850s. Kind of a slow start as we head out through downtown Miami. Remember, this is a no-wake zone as we head out past Brickell Key. Uh, but we're going to be up on plane soon, and here we are with Don Lightfoot in the 52 Nortec. And it's called Team Footloose 2, which means there's also a Footloose 1. In fact, Don has had three Nortec since I've known him. He started things off with a Nortec 36 Super Cat about 10 years ago. He moved on up to a 43 Super Cat, but now he stepped up big. You can't build a bigger cat than this. And it has one huge cockpit with a lot of seating. Another Texan and another big, awesome powerboat. Lane Christensen from Texas. He came in uh, in his private jet, so he, technically he's registered for the air and for the sea portion of this run. Uh, but this is his 52 SV Outer Limits. He purchased this boat from another club member. He really likes the Outer Limits brand. His last boat was a 51 Outer Limits, but he wanted to have one with Mercury Racing 1350s, and he wanted to have a sit-down boat. So now he's got it. This is the top of the food chain in the Outer Limits world. If you own this boat, you're going to sit and cruise in style, and you're going to be able to push the throttles forward and get up to about 135 miles per hour with ease. Now we're catching up with Warren Foreman and his 47-foot fountain X-rated. Let's face it, guys. These boys from Texas have really shown up, everybody else from Florida. Three out of three now from Texas out here in these dark, cloudy conditions. And they're saying, hey, we don't care. We're going to Key West. We're here for fun. I'd like to thank these guys from Texas for coming out and supporting these Florida events. Uh, they come out in strong numbers. They always have uh, great spirits, and they're always very helpful. Guys from Texas, some of our top boaters in the club. We've got plenty more power boating excitement, a little bit of air and a little bit of sea and a little bit of land coming up on this air, land and sea. We'll be right back with more Power Boating in Paradise TV. Race boats and poker run enthusiasts alike count on Lavorsi Marine's controls, instruments and gauges for top performance. It's why for over 25 years, Lavorsi has become standard on most leading high performance boats, even the military. From digital throttle and shift controls to cableless LED tab and drive indicators, Lavorsi offers cutting edge equipment for critical data about your engines, drives, and onboard systems. Lavorsi Marine, the number one choice in performance boating. 
So, you're looking for a place to go on vacation. Where the water is warm. And the nights are hot. A place to remember. A place to get lost. Or blend in with the crowd. A place that defines your individuality. A place to test your skill at something new. A place that feels like home away from home. Visit Jacksonville, Florida. Welcome back to Power Boating in Paradise TV. This is Stu Jones, and we are joining members of the Florida Power Boat Club for the first ever air, land, and sea poker run from Miami to Key West. The boats are spread out pretty far right now. We've got fast boats at the front, we've got slower boats in the middle, and we've got the cruisers in the back. So we've really got it stretched out here as we catch up with these front runners. They're passing through the Card Sound Bridge right now, which means they're getting close to Gilbert's, which is going to be our first checkpoint. Remember that right now on the road, we've got cars joining us, and we've got some airplanes up in the air that are flying on down to the Keys to join us. Another beauty shot here as we head into Barn Sound. It's pretty easy to see why we love coming to the Florida Keys. Closing in on this 52 Nortec powered by 1350s. We're already at 130, clicking up to 135. The helicopter cannot keep up at this point. Here's our first look at Gilbert's and Key Largo. We're going to have uh, a little stop over here, not stopping for lunch, but we are going to rendezvous with the cars and some of the other players on this poker run event. There's a nice shot of Jewfish Creek as the boats begin to arrive. Today, Gilbert's is actually going to be our first checkpoint for the event. This is where we're going to rendezvous with the car teams. We're going to get our first poker card, hang out, meet everybody, have a little safety talk, and away we are going to go. We've still got 110 miles to Key West and still have some checkpoints to make along the way. This is probably going to be the easiest docking scenario you've ever seen at Gilbert's on one of our Florida Powerboat Club poker runs. You're used to seeing 50, 60, 70 boats all tied up here at one time, but today we've just got a small group. A lot of our members have gone home for the summer months, and we've just got a few guys kicking around that want to get in that one last trip to Key West. It was just a quick touch and go. We met some of our new members, handed out the poker cards, and within 15 or 20 minutes, we were fired up and getting ready to head out. Of course, for the sake of showmanship, some of our captains managed to open up their engine hatches and show off these big Mercury Racing 1350s. This is the new engine that has literally changed the whole poker run scene with reliable, big horsepower that runs on pump fuel. Christian McCauley from New Hampshire showed up in his 36 Nortec. He figured with all these big power boats, he'd get a head start. For our land-based entries, we got about 10 cars leaving Gilbert's right now. Offlease only showed up with a very impressive fleet, including an Audi R8, a Prowler, haven't seen one of those in a while. Then there were two Bentleys, a Suzuki Hayabusa, a Porsche Cayman, and a BMW 750i. Now we're back on board with Don Lightfoot in the big 52-foot Nortec. There's an impressive shot of that helm with Don just chilling out and enjoying his second poker run on this new machine. As always, the poker run course for the boats today is gonna to be pretty much through the upper keys in the protected waters. There's not gonna be any offshore running in the ocean until much later in the run. The next leg of the run is only about 20 miles. 
And here's what's going on up on US-1. I'm just wondering right about now, who's going to get there first? Is it going to be the cars or is it going to be the boats? Just don't get a ticket, guys. Looks like the boats have won this leg of the run. Remember, it's not a race, but they're the first ones to get here to postcard in. And they're going to get their second poker card for the day. Postcard in in Isla Mirada, of course, is one of our favorite stopovers with the Florida Powerboat Club. Many of you may recall in recent episodes, we featured the Miami Boat Show Poker Run. We've been visiting this property for over 20 years, but with the new management and the new facelift, it never looked better. I want to thank Kyle Hensley for handing the cards out to the ladies. We normally have a girl in a bikini, but Kyle said, eh, I'll take care of it for you today, Stu. Checkpoint number two here on the Airland and Sea Poker Run. We're at the Postcard Inn in Isla Morada. It was a great ride so far. We started off in Miami, had a fantastic ride on that big Nortec 52-foot cat with Don Lightfoot. We were running about 135 miles per hour, and the chopper was keeping up. But we slowed the pace down because we were on the US-1 for the next leg. I jumped into that Audi R8 that my wife was driving, supplied to us by OffLeaseOnly.com. We had a nice ride down with a bunch of cars following. We made it here to Postcard Inn as the boats were just leaving. So it just goes to prove the boats are still fastest on this leg of the run. We're going to be heading down to Marathon next. Next checkpoint is going to be a lunch stop at the Island Fish Company. Got everybody here raring to go. We're going to be in cars, boats, and that's right, airplanes on the next leg. Another leg with our gang from the Florida Powerboat Club on the air, land, and sea poker run. Coming up, we've got more highlights of the Key West Air, Land, and Sea Poker Run, where we're going to be tourists hanging out on Duval Street and taking the Conk Train Tour. It's all here on Power Boating and Paradise TV. BoatsDirectUSA.com is your Florida Keys connection for the best prices on beautiful new boats, used boats, and quality service for your existing boat. You will save thousands on new boat brands like Contender, Blackwater, Deep Impact, Statement, and Oceanhawk, as we are the exclusive dealer. At BoatsDirectUSA.com, you will choose from the largest and nicest selection of quality pre-owned boats, too. Over 70 boats in stock. Financing is available. Just log on to BoatsDirectUSA.com com now to get pre-approved trade-ins are welcome so trade up into your dream boat at boatsdirectusa.com mile marker 98 in the middle key largo need service on your existing boat we have full-time certified yamaha mercury and mercury Verado technicians on site and we are your authorized parts dealer call today to learn more about our 100 hour services and general repair work at boatsdirectusa.com not all be in the same boat, but out on the water, we're all on the same wavelength. In the Florida Keys and Key West. Hey boaters, be sure to watch the all new Boat Show TV, presented by Florida Power Boat Club. Boat Show TV features all of the popular brands sold by Florida's leading boat dealers. You'll see the latest in family cruisers, sporty runabouts, fishing boats, performance boats, personal watercraft, wakeboard, and pontoon boats even the finest in luxury yachts. Join Stu Jones and his cast of boating experts and you may see a few celebrities along the way. Set your DVR or get up early every Saturday morning at 7.30 right here on Sun Sports. Welcome back to Power Boating in Paradise TV featuring highlights of the first ever air, land and sea poker run to Key West, Florida. We're now stopped at Postcard Inn in Isla Mirada, which is mile marker 84. And that means we've got about 84 miles to go to Key West. We've still got more checkpoints along the way. Altogether, we've got cars, we've got boats, and we've got aircraft joining us today as we head from Miami to Key West. A lot of new members in the club as they join us for their first event with the Florida Powerboat Club. And we want to thank OffLeaseOnly.com for supplying us with some really cool cars to bring on the run. I'm going to be riding with my wife Jackie in this really cool Audi R8 uh, 4.2 liter Quattro Coupe. Here's Raphael and Carol in their Porsche Cayman. Here's Evie Dahl in the Off Lease Only Prowler. 
Maggie Sands is driving this super cool 2007 Bentley convertible with big 20-inch wheels. This is Troy and Michelle Bischoff in their 750 BMW. And there's Jamie Brown and his Suzuki 1300 Hayabusa. And it looks like the boats are getting to start at the very same time. Mark and Eileen Fisher joining us with their 39 Deep Impact powered by Quad Verados. Here's the cars as they roll down US-1. I wonder again who's going to get there first. I got my bets. It's going to be the boats. I just want to say a special shout out to Jamie Brown here on the motorcycle. Yeah, we thought it was going to rain real hard, but uh, he's a real trooper. He got out there, rode all the way down to Key West. He didn't even get wet. Now it's time for our next checkpoint. Uh, this leg of the run was about 30 miles as we headed for the Island Fish Company in Marathon, which is a very popular stopover for anybody cruising through the Florida Keys. They've got great dockage for all the boats, and it's also one of the checkpoints for the September motorcycle poker run that we join every year. Now what is it about Island Fish Company that makes it such a great place? It's just the one stop, main stop in Marathon. It's one of the first stops. Everybody loves it. Great breeze, great view. Great food. Yeah, great food, great owners, great Great looking people. bartenders. <laughs> <laughs> well, what did you think about all these cool power boats? Pretty neat, huh? It is pretty neat. I really like it. Uh, did, did you see the cars out there? Yeah, I did see some of them. Very classic. Did you pick a favorite yet? Not yet. <laughs> There's a Bentley out there that has your name all over it. <laughs> yeah, and I heard somebody else talking about the Audi. Oh, that's the one I'm driving. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, uh, we had a great time here at Island Fish Company in Marathon, and uh, now I see why it's the most popular spot in town. But I have some good news. We're going to be coming down here a lot more because very soon the Hyatt Ferroblanco is going to open up down the yep. street, and we're anxious to come back, and that means we're going to be coming here all the time. Good. Good to hear. After our lunch, uh, we got together and had a quick captain's meeting. Now we've been joined by more newcomers for the poker run. We've got a big custom coach parked out front. We've got a couple of more cars in the mix. It looks like the aircraft didn't make it. The winds have been so bad, they decided that they couldn't make it to Marathon. And worse yet, they were not going to be able to land in Key West. However, we were able to get another helicopter from the Marathon Airport. So we're flying with Old City Helicopters who are going to document the next leg of the run where we're all going to take the trip from Marathon down towards Key West. Kicking things off for our final leg here is Mark and Eileen Fisher in their big Deep Impact 39 powered by Quad. That's right, four Mercury Verados, a total of 1,200 horsepower on this beautiful center console, which is sponsored by Boats Direct USA in Key Largo. Here's another shot of Don Lightfoot. Uh, he's holding back on the throttles because we're setting up a photo sequence as we go over the seven mile bridge. Finally catching up with Christian McCauley from New Hampshire in his 36 foot Nortec Supercat called Team Instigator. Now we're catching up with Ken in Mino Mungle in their 56 foot Sunseeker called Royal Indulgence. Kenny, I know you like going a lot faster. Kenny's got a 32 foot skater. He's won a bunch of shootouts with this boat that goes over 180 miles per hour. And here's our motorhome entry leading the pack across the seven mile bridge. That's Dan and Patty Lightgeb from New York. They've got a 38 cigarette back at home, but they decided to bring their 44 foot Newmar Dutch Star. It's a motor coach that is just beautiful and luxurious. And right now, it's the pace car as they lead the group across the seven mile bridge. And here's the money shot as Danny driving the motor coach crosses over the Baya Honda Bridge at the very same time that Mark Fisher and the rest of the boats pass underneath. What amazing timing that was. Just a short while later, all of the teams had arrived safely in Key West, and we've set up our Poker Run Village at the Conk Republic Seafood Company, where we put all the cars, all the boats, the motor coaches, everything all on display at one cool Poker Run Village. We soon caught up with Samantha and some of her gal pals in Key West as we were getting ready for a big night in the town. Don't go away, we'll be right back with more Power Boating and Paradise TV. What's the attraction at Tilted Kilt Pub in Eatery? It's more than our 30 draft and bottled beers. Or our mouth-watering menu. It's the best-looking sports pub you've ever seen.
Tilted kilt, pub and eatery, a cold beer never looks so good. Hey gang, if you love high performance boating and fun in the sun, Florida Powerboat Club has everything you need. We plan the events and get you there safely to the hottest boating destinations throughout Florida. But you don't have to own a boat to get in on all the action. Social memberships start at just 69 bucks and include the Power Boating in Paradise magazine, FPC t-shirt, and a selection of exciting Poker Run DVDs. Contact our clubhouse in Pompano Beach, like us on Facebook, or follow us on Twitter at FL Powerboat, or just check us out online. We're down at Valerie Square with the Key West Air Land and Sea Poker Run, and you're watching Powerboat in Paradise TV. Woo! 12 noon on Saturday down here at the historic seaport. About the time you'd expect to see hundreds of people down on the dock getting on these charter boats, and maybe even some members of the Florida Powerboat Club heading to Boca Grande. Guess what? Not going to happen today. 20 mile an hour winds uh, causing most boats to stay here in safe harbor. That means it's pretty quiet here at the Cock Republic Seafood Company, but we're sure that as we approach the happy hour, things are going to come back to life. Meanwhile, we've got to find something else to do. We're going to cruise around Key West and see if there's one of those touristy things we can do, like the Cock Train. Sounds like a lot of fun. Let's go check it out. I must say that having this smaller air, land, and sea poker run format did allow us a time to do some of the touristy things that we never get a chance to do when we arrive in November for our big signature Key West poker run. But I must say that doing the Kong train was really exciting. I was able to take pictures of all the cool architecture and all the historical sites and you know at the end of the day I was able to actually create an archive of photos that if I enlarge them all I could decorate my entire office and home seven times over. Obviously the southernmost point was one of the most popular stops along the way. You know, we didn't stop because it was so crowded, but you can see what a beautiful day it was. And I really have to commend that the staff on the Kong train tours, these guys are experts in everything, in every site, and every location you visit. And you see things on this Kong train that you would never see or never know just driving around on your own. I really want to say that the touristy stuff in Key West is a good value for anybody, and I'm so happy. It's probably been 10 years since I've done the Conk Train Tour, and I'm so happy that we did it. We had some very interesting and unique visitors come down to the Key West Poker Run Village at the Conk Republic Seafood Company, where indeed there were beautiful cars and a lot of cool boats on display. But one particular display that got my attention was a motorhome that Danny and Patty from New York brought down. It's a Newmar 44-foot Dutch Star with four slide outs, and I had to get a closer look. You were kind of like the pace car because from down in the water, Mark and the guys that were driving the boats said that if they didn't have the big coach to keep their eye on, they would have never been able to see where we were. So we could time that cool shot as we went over the seven mile bridge. The two of you and, uh, and Pooch Ocean here seem to enjoy this uh, ride. Oh, this is this is where I want to be. I keep telling them we just this is where we should just we should just sell everything and just live on this. I know that some people think that you have to really learn these things inside and out, and you kind of do to some point. But for the most part, everything works great, and uh, you have all the creature comforts at home and then some. From what I could see, you got a little bit of everything. But tell us about these slides and the, the square footage you get when you open it up, and and why it's so great. Well. We went with this because the open floor plan. It's my wife and I and Ocean. Yep. But these larger bump outs yep. gives you the square footage and when you enter the yep. bus that it's that open airness of yep. it, which we like. Very luxurious, very comfortable, and uh, thanks for joining us on the first Key West Air Land and Sea Poker Run. And uh, hope we can get you back on the next one. For most of us who are power boaters, it really was kind of a different vibe in Key West not being here during Power Boat Race Week in November. But we really enjoyed the change. Uh, we got to cruise around up and down Duval Street, do a little souvenir shopping, have a few beverages. And I think that most of us who attended would agree that we just felt it was a more relaxed vibe overall. Of course, our party was more relaxed too, with only about 60 people in attendance, and there were a lot of awards to give out. Special thanks to all the gang at the Conk Republic Seafood Company for rolling out the red carpet, keeping those glasses full, and putting out some fantastic food. We watched the videos on the big screen on the roof of the tent, believe it or not, and the tent didn't blow away. Even though it was windy, the weather held. The first award was Best Aircraft, which went to Lane Christensen for flying here in his Citation 10. Our ladies in red, Stephanie and Julija, won Sexiest Crew Award. 
Don Lightfoot won best catamaran for his 52-foot Nortec Roadster. Jamie Brown took best motorcycle for his 1300 Hayabusa. A special award went to Kenny and Mina Mungle for making the trip all the way from Miami in their Sunseeker Predator. Best paint and graphics went to Danny and Patricia Lightgeb for their 44-foot Dutch Star motor coach. Best poker hand in the land class went to Evie Dahl in Team Prowler. We said thanks to our sponsors, Mark and Eileen Fisher from OffLeaseOnly.com and Boats Direct USA in Key Largo. What a great fleet they provided for this event. Best exotic car went to Rafael and Carol Cologne from Coral Springs with their Porsche Cayman. And congratulations to our top winners, Christian McCauley and his lady Andrea in Team Instigator. For our next episode of Power Boating in Paradise TV, join members of the Florida Power Boat Club on an exciting adventure for the Bahamas Sport Boat Poker Run. This is Stu Jones. Thanks for watching. See you next time.